Anthony Benitez from Fort Lauderdale. I was a good kid. I played sports my whole life, baseball, football. Um, I didn't really get in trouble at all. And I guess I was popular, I guess you could say. I have a good family. I still have my parents. I have four sisters, one younger brother. So I was always with my family. Just eventually I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Anything I did, even as a little kid, say like playing baseball or football, I wanted to do it all the time, every day, and I just didn't want to stop. Pretty much like everybody else, started smoking weed, and then something happened. Um, I guess you could say a heartbreak. She was pregnant and she had a miscarriage, so that messed me up. And then she cheated on me with my best friend, and my, all my friends knew about it. I grew up with it, no one told me about it, so I used that as an excuse, and I started using Xanax. I didn't like who I was becoming because I started being I guess what you could say a bad person. Overdoses, being in a coma, homeless on the street, eating out of a trash can. That was my raw box. The last day I used is when I decided to change. It was January 3rd, 2018. And I was just in jail for two months and then I got out only for six days. And then the last day I used, I overdosed. And I was on the street, had an ankle monitor on me and I had a warrant and I knew I was gonna to go to prison for a long time. And for the first time I went and I turned myself in because I was done. I just, I didn't want to live like that no more. I went to jail and then I went to treatment and then I did halfway, IOP, I did the works. The most important thing I learned that I tell people a lot when a lot of people ask me like, how did you just stop? How? I just accepted the fact that I could not do any type of drug or alcohol. As far as you know, people, oh, well, just weed or alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic, I'm not an alcoholic, but I tried that once and it didn't work. So when I accepted the fact that I could not drink, smoke weed, or do anything, it just made it a lot easier. I remember my sponsor told me that he cried of gratitude before. And at first I thought that, that was impossible. And then I remember the first moment I had when my sister who wasn't talking to me for years, she brought my niece and my nephew over and I had a day to spend with them. And I remember at the end of the night I cried of happiness. And I was like, wow. like. My sponsor was right because he told me it gets better. Skating has definitely helped me stay clean. It's like um, it's like it's a new high. I didn't skate for probably like six or seven years, and then I finally got back on it. And just the fact that I was riding the bus, taking my skateboard everywhere, that's why I got comfortable again. I got comfortable on my board. And then once I started doing tricks again, it's like, and I like doing stuff big. I like going fast. And when I do something big and say I grind a rail and then I land and I ride away, it's like a high in itself. My name's Anthony, I have 20 months clean. September is National Recovery Month, and if I could do it, anyone could do it.